choice of words um, in my broadcast um, was conditional. Elections will be held on the 2nd of March. That was the advice I received. I did not want to use uh, more definitive terms because um, I expected that uh, in accordance with the Constitution we should have to go to Parliament. If you don't, if the opposition doesn't go to Parliament, well, we will abide by what I said last night, the election will be held on the 2nd of March. That's as definitive as I can get. I met the uh, chairman of the commission and there's a work schedule. These schedules have to be uh, designed and approved by the commission itself. And um, I expect that once the commission has given that final approval, the other uh, requirements will be Will be met. That is to say, we have claims and objections, we have to have nominations, there are certain uh, statutory requirements in the preparation of up for, for elections. So I was quite guarded in my remarks, but I was giving the Commission the opportunity to publicize its own work schedule. It is not my uh, duty or my um, intention to micromanage the process or to say things which the Commission could have um, come, uh, you know, implement. But what I said last night was quite accurate, that both the Commission and the Cabinet have considered the, uh, the information that's available and yet will be held on 2nd of March 2020.